Welcome to June's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is max area of island. You are given an m times n binary matrix grid. An island is a group of ones representing land connected four directionally, horizontal or vertical. You may assume all four edges of the grid are surrounded by water. So zero is water and one is land. Now the area of an island is the number of cells with a value of one in the island. Return the maximum area of an island in grid. If there is no such island, return zero. So essentially we want to count the number of ones inside of an island and return the maximum one. Now this question is very similar to the counting islands problem, which is a classic. I highly recommend you brush up on that. What we're gonna do is write a recursive depth first search and we'll check every single cell. Uh, when we find that we have a one, what we'll do is go uh, bi-directionally in all four directions and recall this depth first search, flipping this one to a zero. So here, if we get to this one, we're going to search up, search left, search right, search down. And if we find that it's another one, we're going to recall that depth for search again and just continue on the algorithm until we count up all the ones. Um, now, to know that we visited this thing before, rather than having a visited set, I'm just going to update this grid to be a, um, a zero instead of a one. And that way, we're not going to have any infinite recursions of any sort. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is initialize our m and n, which is just going to be length of grid and length of grid zero. Now we want to write our depth for search helper. We'll have our depth for search and we're going to pass in the row and column. Uh, first thing we want to check to make sure is, is it in bounds and is it uh, a one? So if, let's see, uh, if it's in bounds, zero equal to r less than uh, row would be m and the c is also in bounds. The column is in bounds, zero plus equal C, uh, N, and this grid R C. If it's equal to one, then we're going to um, continue our depth for search. And to do that, we'll say, uh, let's see, return depth for search for R plus one C. Uh, and we'll add this all up for all four directions. Let's say this one is. Minus row, this will be plus column. This will be minus column here. Now, one thing to note is also we have to add a one because at this point, we know that there's at least one cell here. That's gonna mean the area has, has at least one. And also wanna reset our grid RC to equal zero now. So that in case we come back, we're not gonna recall this into like some sort of infinite cycle. Now, if it's not in bounds or if it's um, equal to a zero, then we're just gonna return zero. And that way, all these are just going to return zero here. Okay, so now we want to call this four row in range of m and four c in range of n. We're going to call our depth for search and say output is equal to the max of whatever output is and our depth for search r c. Make sure to initialize our output here, starting with zero, and then return this output whenever we finish. So let's see if this works. Okay, it looks like it's working, right? So let's submit it. And there we go, accepted, that's great. Uh, time complexity is n times m, I believe. Uh, although this recursion, mm, I'm not sure if that will uh, count as extra sp time complexity. Mm, well, considering that, um, if it's a zero, uh, we're not going to do any more depth search calls. I think it should count as m times n. Uh, and we don't use any extra space, do we? Because we're actually uh, modifying the grid itself. So space would be constant. Well, not really, because we have our recursion. So it's not really constant. Uh, okay, well, hope that helps. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.